Hi, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, using the sample resources and sample lessons here. Uh, and this is actually a great tutorial on um, just, just using things in general. If you have access to more than one course or access to a template course or a sample course, uh, this is a great way to move things from one place to another. So what we're doing here is we're taking advantage of, so we have these sample resources and activities. Uh, and basically what, what's been done on these is all the settings have been made, a file has been selected or you know resources have been selected and it's a great way if you're if you're not quite sure about some of the settings or say you just want some boilerplate text um, you just don't want to type everything in from scratch or get all the settings done from scratch this is a great way just to copy a sample and then kind of paste it into the course that you're working on and we're going to be using um, a feature that was installed on our on this Moodle system or Moodle system not Moodle system, this Moodle system called ShareCart. So here it is right here. So if it wasn't here, I could just add a block, you know, under add a block right there. So we're going to be using the sharing cart. So let's say that I had a, a SCORM activity, and I'm not too sure. Let's say that I, I had a SCORM activity created for me, like, say, for example, Captivate Content. Um, so, uh, and it was sent to me, and I'm not really sure how to add it in. I'm not, I don't know what the, all the you know the uh, settings are that I need to have. Well, a good way for me to do this would be to go and use a sample that's already there. So in this case, I went to uh, this basic course, basic sample course that we have, uh, and I'm just going to copy this activity. So I go in here, I go to the copy to share cart icon, and I click on that. Click OK. Now the page is going to reload, and notice when it reloads that my my sharing cart here will contain that item. Okay, so we're still waiting for the page to reload here, um, and it's quite a large uh, activity so what's happening in the system here is it's actually copying the um, the files and whatnot over on the system so in this case you know the SCORM activity the SCORM activity that we're copying uh, may be you know it might contain video or something that would be you know say a hundred megabytes so if the system is going to try to move things around it, it might take a couple of seconds here This can be used for any type of activity. Uh, so any resource. So if, for example, in this in this uh, basic course, you know, template, uh, we have every different kind of resource that you can add, as well as every different kind of activity that you can add, um, and all of the settings have already been set inside of them. Uh, another great thing about using a template like this is that. Um, you know, we're, we're a, there might be somebody on your system that is constantly experimenting with the best with the best settings uh, to use, um, and therefore you take advantage of those those uh, most up to date knowledge on the settings to use in Moodle. Um, we're going to go ahead and stop the, the loading here. This swarm activity took a little bit long, uh, so let's go ahead and just do a, a more simple activity like sample advanced upload of files activity. Um, we could have let that um, we could have let the other one run. It would have worked just fine, but uh, in, in an effort to reduce the size of this video, let's just try another one. So we did uh, advanced upload of files, so notice that our page reloads. Now we have in our sharing cart, um, now the squirm activity is there, but let's go ahead and just delete that. Um, just because of the fact that uh, because the page didn't fully load, we're not really sure what happened with it at this point. Um, okay, so there's my sample advanced upload of files activity that I just used. So now let's say I go to a different course. I go you know, to a different course. In this case, we're not going to navigate to a different course, but let's say I would go to the course that I'm working on. I would still have the sharing cart on the right-hand side, and then I would go uh, copy to course. Once I click the copy to course button, what will happen is, is that I'll get these little boxes all over the place. So in each topic, 
notice in each topic basically I have this little box and this is the this is Moodle's um, now you won't see it much in version 2.2 but when you're moving something if you're not using um, kind of this fancy JavaScript in version 2.2 uh, basically when you're moving something this is how you decide where it's going to be placed so let's say we want to put it into uh, topic 2 here I'm going to click copy here Okay, and now it's loading again. Okay, so there we had the page loaded. And now when I go back down, notice that now I've copied this entire activity. Now it copies over the activity, any files that are in it, um, all of the settings that are in it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and edit it just to show you what was copied over. In this case, you know, it wasn't that much. So in this case, it was just some boilerplate text. Um, but it did. It saved me some typing. It saved me some uh, going in. For example, all of these settings are different than the default settings, uh, especially if I have grading settings set up or something like that. Uh, it can really save me a lot of time. And you can do this inside of your own courses as well, uh, not just in, uh, not just when using the template course. Okay, so I hope that helps and uh, helps you to work more efficiently in Moodle. Good luck.